Hey everybody, welcome back to Camping with Kevin. Today on this episode, I'm actually going to check on my pre-filter. It's been about 30,000 miles since I put it on, so we're gonna take it off, clean it out and see how much debris it's caught. And then we're gonna check the factory air filter underneath the hood and see if that needs to be switched out as well. Luckily, checking the pre-filter is really easy. All I need is a flathead screwdriver and about 20 seconds of my time. Now that the pre-filter is off, I'm gonna take it on my tailgate and we're gonna open it up. On top of the pre-filter is a wing nut. Just have to back that off and that'll allow me to remove the top. The pre-filter actually does not need to be checked until it gets to this line, which is crazy. That's how much sediment it can hold. But after 30,000 miles, if we look in here, uh, we got quite a bit of sand, got some leaves, uh, looks like maybe some animal or dog hair, probably German Shepherd hair. But right there, I'm gonna dump this out. So that right there is everything that I had after 30,000 miles of my pre-filter. Now I guess the real test is to check the uh, stock air filter and see how much stuff got through the pre-filter. Now the factory filter looks pretty clean for 30,000 miles. I do have wings from, looks like a moth, maybe a dragonfly. Otherwise, it's actually pretty clean. It probably wouldn't need to be switched out, but I already went ahead and bought a new one because they're pretty cheap anyway. Um, it does almost look like there's water stain right here. Or maybe the uh, pre-filter is sucking down some water in a really heavy storm or something. But I'll have to keep my eye on that. Other than that, for 30,000 miles, uh, traveling all kinds of dirt roads in Central Florida and forests and stuff like that, um, pretty clean. As you can see on that paper towel, it did collect a lot of sand. So now it's time to go ahead and install our new air filter and our clean pre-filter. Now a lot of you are probably wondering, what is a pre-filter and why would anybody need a pre-filter? Well, a pre-filter is exactly as it sounds. It's gonna filter the air up here before it gets to the factory air filter. So if you're somebody that drives a lot of dirt roads, you go trail riding, and you're always behind someone's cloud of dust on the trail, uh, you drive through a lot of mud, maybe wet conditions, stuff like that, um, this is actually gonna trap a lot of sand, leaves, bugs, dragonflies. You catch all kinds of stuff in these things. Now, typically factory air filters are gonna draw air from inside the front fender or right behind the headlight in the front of the vehicle. Um, moving a pre-filter and your air source intake up a little bit higher allows, if you're driving down a dusty road behind somebody, the dusty air, if you follow behind them just long enough, is gonna start to settle and you're gonna be allowed to get the cleaner air up here. Whereas if you're sucking air from up here, or I mean down here, uh, you're just going to be collecting everybody's sand from in front of you and everything that the tire is going to kick up is going to swirl around in the engine bay, engine bay and you're just going to collect all that sand as well. So it is beneficial to have your air intake moved up higher with the pre-filter, not just for uh, forging water. Everybody thinks you have a snorkel, oh man, you can go through water you know, up to your mirrors. Um, it's not the case necessarily. There's a lot more to it than just moving air intake up there. Um, your transmission breather needs to be moved up, your axles, um, newer trucks, especially the Tacomas, have a lot of computers in them, electric stuff, and you wouldn't want to get wet. Um, on my previous Jeeps, I had snorkels and pre-filters, and in that case, those older engines didn't have so many computers and things that needed to be dry. And typically on the Jeeps, especially the Rubicon, uh, my breathers and everything were up in the engine bay as well. So uh, there were times where I did have water over the center console in the Jeep and uh, that was definitely okay. Um, you just need to change your fluids and stuff like that, but um, that's another topic for another time. In the case of the pre-filter, this is why I have one. You do get a cleaner air with your intake moved up here and the pre-filter does, as you can see on the paper towel, collect a lot of debris. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. I typically respond pretty quick. And if you like this video and you want to see more, especially camping videos and adventure videos, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.